So only the start, which I found very, 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 very awkward. I don't know why. Hi there, uh, I'm Camilla and I'm an application chemist here at Anatune. We decided that we wanted to have a chat with you about some exciting news which have been happening in our demo lab and we thought it'd be nice to share with you. Many of you guys know us as the GC people or the automation people or the automation GC people, which is very much true and fair enough because it's that's where our company started. We were a small company and we decided to focus on something which uh, we wanted to uh, know very well and deliver very well. And that's what we have been doing in the past few years. But then at the same time, Anatuna started to grow, which meant that new expertise are coming to the company and we have decided to explore new challenges where automation could bring a lot of um, good input to the science. And that's where we started SIFTMS, an automated SIFTMS, which has been taken off in the past few years and been very successful. And at this point, we reached a point where we thought that it was the time to take another challenge on, and that's what is happening right now. I think one of the biggest regret we've always had in the past few years is that we couldn't approach all of our customers because some of our customers are actually more LC driven than GC driven and because for us it's so important to deliver a solution which is actually tested in our lab and deliver successfully in our lab we we couldn't do that because we didn't have an LC and uh, that's the reason why we decided to get one and this is our big news we've got an LCMS <laughs> come to the lab I'll show you <laughs> so it's our new addition to the family. This is Daisy. Uh, she has been installed at the end of August. It's a Agilent 1260 LC coupled to an Agilent 6470 triple quad. We got an extra spray source uh, which is uh, running some glyphosate samples at the moment in negative mode. And of course, uh, we had to put automation in front of it because this is what we do and because that's what we love. So we have a, a whole two meter rail, a whole lab on the rail in front of our LCMS. We can cover the whole LCMS prep. We can do uh, liquid handling, mixing, centrifugation, sonication, dilute and shoot, protein crush, you name it. We do it and we inject and we use our LCMS. Of course, we are automation people, so we probably um, particularly inclined to use automation all the time. But at the same time, we are aware that in an LCMS context, uh, automation has to deal with a very fast LCMS, which is a very different scenario from what we experience when we do with GCMS. So speed is not probably gonna be the biggest of the strength of automation in LCMS application, but the greatest quality of, of automation is actually the data quality they can provide. Is the robustness, is the reproducibility, is the consistency, and especially when you are looking at very big data set where being consistent across the data set is crucial to have the right answer, I think that's where automation really can make the difference. And for LCMS too. Of course, what we've learned all these years working with you, uh, our customers, and collaborating with our customers is that, that we can learn the most and where we can deliver the best. So we actually need your help. What are the latest challenges which are the hot topics in LCMS at the moment and how automation can help with that. So you have to tell us, can automation help you at all? Uh, would you like to collaborate with us and work on some exciting combination of automation and LCMS? So let us know, reach out. Um, you can write in the comments or you can email us, you can phone us. Uh, I'll be on the other side of the phone if you want to have a chat, I'd love to. Better than speaking to a camera. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we love to know and help us out and do exciting science with LCMS. Bye. <laughs>